G'day YouTube, JB from Oz. It's been nearly 12 months since I entered Keith Fenner's What's In Your Box Toolbox competition and this was my nomination video way back when. Keith encouraged me to get on and actually start recording some footage, some movies, to expand my access to people and channels and it's been a pretty awesome ride. Uh, one of the things I stated as a goal for my uh, entry was to actually reach out and make contact with people in the community and actually become a part of the community myself. And although I was unfortunate in terms of winning a toolbox, I was extremely fortunate in being able to make a whole pile of new friends. And the, uh, the people that I've managed to catch up with and the channels and the creators, most notably things like the YouTube Machinists group, um, rubbing shoulders with the likes of Stefan and Robin and so many different people. Um, John Creasy, Emma Ritson, various other people in the country. And I've managed to get to the point where I've got 81 videos, I've got 220 subscribers. It's just been an absolutely awesome rush. Now, time comes to nominate for 2017 and I've done it before. I've already entered once and it's not fair, I don't think, to throw my hat in the ring again. I um, do however have somebody I would like to nominate jointly with uh, a new and great friend of mine and uh, I'd like to pass over to Emma now and she's going to tell us a little bit more about our uh, joint nomination. Emma, over to you. Hey guys and girls, my name is Emma Ritson. Uh, I live in Queensland, in Australia. I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, some of you may follow it. Some of you probably don't, but we make tools and I would like to make more Edwardian style kids toys, things like that. Um, lately it's been a tool making channel. Everyone seems to enjoy that. And one of the things that have contributed to the direction that that's gone is winning or, or being given um, or voted worthy of a Keith Fenner What's In Your Box Toolbox Giveaway to Toolbox and that just happened last year. I made a nomination video and I was a bit nervous about it and I guess the, the reasons I made it firstly were to get myself out there and get noticed the same as JB's already said. Uh, that's something that's certainly happened. Um, in the last 12 months and the other reason was so that some of my friends um, close friends and people I thought were worthy to win a toolbox or to be given a toolbox um, would also make nomination videos that hasn't happened and for a few reasons one is that the people are shy I think and a little bit nervous and many of them don't like to be in front of the camera um, me included, but I'm here. And probably because they just don't think that they're worthy of, or they've done anything that would would be deserving of an incredible gift uh, like this, this toolbox giveaway is. So this year I thought talk to JB and we thought maybe we need to to take things into our own hands and make our own nomination so without any further ado or as, as Phil says from Phil's projects without any further babbling I'd like to nominate Adam Carmichael uh, he has a, a small YouTube channel and he does a lot of good things for for his own little community and a lot of things for my community um, he's always there, Facebook discussion or comments on YouTube videos, he's, he's a, an active part of the community. He also spends a lot of time, a lot of weekends through the year, mentoring and orchestrating and organising and judging high school robot competitions, pushing engineering and machining trades, robotics and electronics in high schools and universities and 
I think for that everyone can be really quite thankful that there are people out there that do this and Adam's one of them. Uh, he's bringing this trade and other trades through into the 21st century and he's pushing everyone. Uh, he mentors girls teams and people from many many walks of life and I think that's something that's well and truly worthy of a toolbox giveaway. And he also spends a lot of time, um, seems to be a couple of week, weeknights a, a week, helping some people with assignments and um, tutoring for exams for university students. Um, he's out there and he puts the hard yards in. He's bought himself a little lathe in the last couple of years, a import 9 inch lathe that he's done quite a lot of work to and a lot of modifications and it's starting to be pretty tidy and he's starting to learn to use it. I think that he would be more than more than welcoming of a, a toolbox full of machinist tools and measuring tools and certainly they would expand his capabilities um, in an incredible amount, the same as they expanded mine. So that's my nomination. And this Adam Carmichael. Uh, JB might put a link to his channel on the bottom. Um, I hope he puts a link to Keith Fenner's channel. Keith is an amazing guy. I was lucky enough to meet him and to spend some time with him in June at the Summer Bash. And as I was lucky enough to spend time with a lot of you, and it's, it's Team Fenner all the way for me, an amazing guy. And he does a good thing and he does it willingly and graciously and we all really, really appreciate it. And I want to say thanks too for what he's done for me. But I hope that anyone who's judging or, or looking at who is worthy for this amazing box of tools um, would consider Anna Carmichael and consider what we've consider our nomination because I think that he's absolutely and definitely worthy of, of winning a toolbox. So thanks guys and girls and thanks for watching. Jump over to my channel and give me a subscription and do the same for JV if you're your first time here but absolutely, absolutely the Keith Venice toolbox giveaway is the best thing that happened in this community and thank you. Okay, so there you have it, the cat's out of the bag. Emma and my nomination is Adam Carmichael. So I know when I spoke with Adam about nominating, he didn't really feel that the, uh, the entrance fitted him as a person. Um, he thinks that kids trying to give a toolbox out to a starting machinist with the idea that they'll use the tools professionally like Andre Mosley or uh, make loads of videos like Emma has done. Um, look, I think that's something that you as judges can judge. Um, he suggests that he doesn't have the time to devote into making videos specifically or to pushing it out. Um, but I think we can see from the previous entrance that that's not really a criteria for the winners. Um, some people certainly have gone out to produce lots of video. Um, but others have been quite silent, but still I'm sure making fantastic use of their, their toolboxes. Now Adam says to me that he's, and he's going to hate me for this, he's more of an engineer than a machinist, and um, even though he does dabble in both, that his, his engineering is kind of where he feels his focus is. Um, but as any of you have been machinists know, trying to get an engineer to think like a machinist is one of the first challenges that any engineer needs to overcome. So that in itself, I feel, is another reason why we should consider Adam as being a worthy recipient for this. So without any further ado, I would like to hand over to you, the judges, and uh, all the best. Hopefully you'll uh, find Adam as worthy as we do. Uh, if not, well, this is his channel. Give him a subscription, give him a like, give him a bit of a G up. He's doing some fast fantastic work helping and mentoring students uh, in high schools, trying to get them involved in science and maths and engineering and 
some of the builds that they're doing of these robots involve machining and electronics and, and so forth. The, uh, the first robotics competition is something where school students around Australia are being given that first desire and ability and capability and support, most importantly, to develop teams and as Adam said, it's, it's cooperation, cooperation. It's a cooperative competition. The goal here really is about learning and building fantastic communities of people trying to better themselves more than anything else and upskill in new tech and get an interest in science, get an interest in engineering, mathematics, and mechanical engineering alongside machining and building is, I think, a big part of that. Anyway, over to you. Thanks for your time.